I was at an event recently and the speaker on stage said that 500,000 people will leave the real estate industry or have already decided or mentally checked out of the real estate industry in the next year due to the market shift. If this scares you, I'm gonna give you some strategies and the mindset shift that you need to be standing tall in the real estate industry in 2024. What's up guys, Jeremy Kane with the Real Estate Agent Playbook. Super excited to talk to you about this as this 500,000 agents exiting the industry kind of caught me off guard. And it is my goal to make sure that every single agent watching this video is standing tall and crushing business in 2024. So as always, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll continue to bring you all of the information and all my tips and tricks to absolutely help you crush the real estate game. If you're interested in joining my group at eXp, check out this link right here. Would be happy to hop on a call and see if the Wolfpack's a good fit for you. All right, so we all know that the last four years in real estate outside of the last six months have been pretty awesome. It's been pretty easy to build business. If you've been in real estate, you've had some success. And the honest truth is the last six months were kind of a wake up call. And as we continue to hear the headlines and face the fears and you know, the national media is even saying, you know, talking about all these foreclosures and things like that, not seeing that so much in our market, but all of the negativity really has people thinking like, oh man, like, am I gonna make it? What's gonna happen here? And you just need to understand it might be a little bit more difficult. We might make a little bit less money. We might have to get through some tougher months, but if you make it through 500,000 agents out of the industry sounds like a pretty good deal. So first things first, let's talk about headlines versus reality. Make sure that you're really dialed into your current market, what's going on. Nationally, I hear all the time about foreclosures. Well, I know for sure in Colorado that we had two short sales in the last month. And so I'm not seeing a major wave of foreclosures because we had such a, a huge appreciation. So make sure that you're really dialed into your hyper local market. You're not watching those headline news, you know, headlines and, and psyching yourself out that way. The truth is that it will be a little bit different. Transactions were down 30%, but our volume was pretty high. So just understand that that's what's going on. And we will understand that we will continue to push forward. And if you have the right mindset, you will push forward with us. So the next thing I want you to really think about is your work ethic. And you're gonna take some habits forward with you over the next, you know, right now it's January of 2023. You know, are you bringing any habits back from 2022 that that you want to, you know, think about what you are moving forward with. The truth is that you can take bad habits forward just as much as you can take the good habits. So we kind of want to make that dividing line, trying to eliminate the bad habits, continue with the good habits, the income producing activities, focus on those, make sure we're not, you know, just scrolling through or chasing Zillow leads or whatever that's not working. Make sure we're doing the things that are working moving forward. So take a look at your work ethic and what needs to dial in. When the going gets tough, those shiny objects, the things of the past, the Zillow leads, the Facebook leads, all of that stuff, it's going to be a little bit harder to convert, right? When you put all of your eggs in a basket of a company that can change things at a moment's notice, it gets harder. One thing you always have is your sphere of influence. If you don't have a sphere of influence, maybe you're not from the market that you're selling real estate in, you need to build one and this needs to be with a sense of urgency. You need to be intentional about building a sphere of influence. We all know that you have a sphere of influence and you have more contacts than you think because they're all in here. For all the people that say, oh, I don't know anyone here. I look at their phone, they have 1200 contacts. Oh, well, some of them are out of state. Well, you can still you know, refer you know, deals to agents in those areas and that kind of stuff. You can still produce an income globally at eXp you know, in real estate, if you have contacts that might not be from your local market. So always remember your sphere, always go back to it, and always take care of that piece of your business because it's super important. As I always say, when it comes to sphere of influence, build it, nurture it, and leverage it. If you can do that, you will be ultra successful in the real estate game. So here's the mindset shift that I was talking about a little bit earlier. If 500,000 people exit this industry, all of them will not be real estate agents. He was talking to a group of lenders and title people and real estate agents. But if 500,000 people leave the industry, think about the market share that that opens up for you. If you're ready to go and you're ready to leverage it, the minor 
decrease in transactions or you know maybe the minor decrease in home prices will not even come close to affecting your business because the market share opportunity that's available to you is absolutely there. So if you have that mindset, you will absolutely push forward through the hard times, understand that there's more business out there because so many people are leaving the business. You can go crush that business. You can absolutely dial it in and you can be successful and still standing in 2024 and well beyond. So if you have any questions about this, please let me know. Jeremy Kane, Real Estate Agent Playbook. Check out this video on developing niches in real estate with my good friend Jessica Estes from Boise, Idaho. It's a great one. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.